Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's special presentation. In this video, we'll be discussing the latest developments regarding a new lineage of the COVID-19 virus, known as BA-286. The World Health Organization and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are closely monitoring this emerging variant, and we'll be diving into the key facts surrounding it. The World Health Organization and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have identified a novel lineage of the COVID-19 virus, BA-286, which has raised concerns due to its unique genetic makeup. Since late July, six cases of this variant have been detected across four countries. It's important to note that BA-286 stands out from the currently dominant XBB-15 variant, boasting 36 mutations that distinguish it from its predecessor. Now, a crucial point to emphasize is that, at present, there is no compelling evidence suggesting that BA-286 spreads more rapidly or leads to more severe illness compared to previous variants. As a result, the guidance provided by the CDC regarding protective measures against COVID-19 remains unchanged. As we look at the broader context of COVID-19, infections and hospitalizations have been on the rise not only in the United States, but also in Europe and Asia. Recent months have seen an increase in cases attributed to the EG5 Eris subvariant, which is a descendant of the Omicron lineage that emerged in November 2021. In terms of vaccine protection, it's worth noting that the existing vaccines, including booster shots, were initially designed to target the Omicron subvariant XBB 1.5. Preliminary data from Moderna and Pfizer indicate that their updated vaccine versions may offer promising protection against the Aris subvariant and a related variant called Fornax. In conclusion, while BA-286 is an emerging COVID-19 variant with distinct mutations, there is no definitive evidence to suggest it poses a greater threat than previous variants. Vigilance and adherence to recommended preventive measures, along with vaccination, remain our primary defenses against the virus. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates as new information becomes available. Thank you for joining us for this important discussion. Stay safe and informed.